All right, guys, the markets tried to bounce again today, but everything, all the markets drew back down. My name is E7 here at Grok Trade. It's hump day Wednesday. What is it, February 7th, 2018? I'm glad to be your host here for the next few minutes, giving you the latest and greatest of technical analysis. You'll look here that the spiders, diamonds, NASDAQ, all in negative territory, but the tech stock's doing the worst, down 1.3%. Small caps slightly higher, financials slightly higher, mostly in bearish territory, guys. U.S. dollar up 0.44%. Crude oil down 2.6%. Silver down a half a percent, or gold down a half a percent, but silver down one and a half percent. Very bearish, guys. VIX dropping 7.5%, but still above 25. It's at 27.7. Bitcoin higher by nearly 5%. GBTC higher by a staggering 11.2%. We have a lot to get after. Check it out. Check it out. There's the Spiders ETF. This is the ETF on the S&P 500. It's like a mutual fund, but on the S&P 500, very important to watch. So we had this run, 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 run. We had a sell signal back here on January 30th. We said, we don't want to be long the market anymore. I'm flat the market. Yesterday, really close to putting on some longs, and I, I did not because if you remember on the weekend edition, I said after a huge drop, you know, the Dow down 1,175 points. That's just a monster, monster drop. The biggest point drop in history, but not the biggest uh, percentage drop, which happened in 2007, 2007, 2008, right there before the financial crash uh, started. And the flash crash, I stand corrected, was in 2010, which, but I still think it was May, May 2010, um, that I made all that money and the feds took it away from me because they negated all the trades. Oh man, gagged me with a chainsaw. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Okay. But here we're looking at this. You'll notice I added some lines. So I took this line, um, the most prominent leg is this one. It's not this one anymore because this leg is longer down than this one, okay? So this is my prominent leg. So there is the Fibonacci retracement based on that, that drop. Doing that gives me these readings. And it is a bearish reading, anything below 61.8. Well, what's happened is we went up to 50% area and sellers came in and drove it right back down, closing at the session's lows. guys. Bears came in big time. If you remember what I said on the weekend edition, I said after a huge bearish drop, look for a monster bullish pop. Remember that? I said expect five to 600 points on the next day. That's precisely what we got yesterday. Then I said look for another drop to happen the very next day. That would be today. I was semi-surprised to see us go bullish first thing this morning. I thought, whoa, that is very interesting. Didn't expect that. But by day's end, we sold off big time. I said, there it is. <laughs> That's, it's doing what is highly um, anticipated by professional traders. So here, it looks like we're going to start dropping again. But guys, know this. Anytime we are at a very, very high in the markets, when we're putting in the high or at a very, very low in the markets, putting in a low, expect monster moves up and down. This could go up 800 points tomorrow. Okay, It could certainly do that. We could just blast through everything. And everybody say, oh, this is great. Let's buy. The very next day, we'll be down 900 points. Okay, This is indicative of capitulation and a change commencing at these extreme highs and extreme lows. Don't get sucked or suckered into them, okay? This is 20 years of experience helping you. 20 years of experience helping you. So let's keep going quickly, quickly. So I'm gonna get rid of that. That's what we're looking at. We came up near resistance, came right back down. <sighs> That's we're in trouble. Dow looking here, we popped up, hit resistance yesterday. We busted resistance, but came right down and <laughs> closed below resistance. We're in trouble, guys. We're in trouble. NASDAQ yesterday, we popped up, smashed our head at resistance, this trend line, and then we tried to get over it today. Came back down. We're in trouble, closing below the 50 day moving average. The small caps, Russell's 2000, had the big pop, boom, off of the support area. See this? I almost put a buy there. I wanted to so badly yesterday. 
we pop up, but we have this area, see this? Support here now is resistance there. Let's go to financials. Bouncing off a of support area, up, 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 up. But we got up over the 50-day moving average. We came back down. This is financials, financials, in trouble. US dollar, I put a buy on that on February 2nd, as you guys remember. We're up, 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 up. And the question is, where will that... So we're at 50%. So I could see us getting to 61.8, this 11747 area before it drops. So that's something I'll be watching for. Crude oil, put a sell on it a few days ago, and it's just crashing. It's in bad, bad, bad shape. There's our M for murder, double top, M for murder. And 61.8 is that 12 down here. So something I'll be watching for. Gold off a half a percent. Had a sell on it already and it's dropping. Silver had a sell on it. It's dropping even more. Just, ooh, bad, bad, bad. VIX, um, I'm not going to put a sell on it yet. VIX, see how, see how low they went? And it came right back, came right back. So it's, VIX is still a buy. Bitcoin, I did put a buy on it yesterday and it did pop today. I think that we're trying to find a bottom here on Bitcoin. That's what I think. GBTC. Put a buy on it. It's going up. I think it's a buy opportunity for that. Let's take a quick look at some stocks of interest. Stocks of interest. Uh, let's do the Dow 30. Uh, let's look at Apple because we always look at Apple. Down, down, down. Had a big pop, but it dropped by days in. We're down below the 200-day moving average again. Oh, look at this. Boeing up. Yesterday, put a buy on that because it did get a close over the 20-day moving average. <clears throat> And it did pop up, but again, if the markets tumble, this is going to go down with it too. I'll have to reverse that. Any other major moves? Um, 1.6, Chevron. Um, it's just down in the pits. Anything else of interest? Any? Oh, Microsoft down 1.88. Here, just mm, that. That's interesting. Anything else? UTX, United. Got to bounce off of support. Boom. It's going higher. That one had a close over the 50-day and off of support. And Walmart up 2%. That one had a close over 50. It's up, but it's caught. Again, these things will come crashing down. If um, this one, Exxon. Oh, broke a major area of support, guys. No, not being crude or um, Exxon. Bad, bad, bad. Let's look here at tech stocks. Tech stocks. Um, Amazon down 1.8. Nothing there. Baba down 2.6. Boom, boom. Man, it's in trouble. 2.7 on Baidu. It's in trouble. Catfish up 3.5. Oh, man. I didn't have a buy on that one. I said I have a sell. I'm going to stay with my sell. At one point, this was doing really, really well, earnings, but then it sold off. So I'm just going to stick with my sell on that one. Um, Facebook off 2.8%. It popped up, didn't get over the 20-day moving average, and closed under support. Look at that, guys. Facebook's in trouble. Oh, man. Google 3% down under support. Trouble, guys. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Trouble on those guys. Uh, Priceline up 1.28%. Oh, I couldn't put a buy on it yesterday, and I just can't get myself to put it on now. Can't do it. Won't do it. Snap up 47.6%. Look at that. That is huge. That's one of my few that I had buys on, guys. Had a buy on January 31st. And so we were at $13 and some change. Now we're at $21 area. Wow. What a great run. Whoa, Twitter up 6.6%. Big pop. Have a buy on that one, too. And it's doing well. Okay, so there it is. Okay, guys, I have this phone number. That is a number to text to. We have a mentorship coming up. If you just want more information on it, text us your name and your email address. Make sure you spell it correctly <laughs> and send you some information. All right. So guys, monologue.
hey, I'm not an I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not licensed. I'm not under the umbrella of the SEC. I'm an educator only. It would be dangerous in my humble opinion to have money in the markets right now. Doesn't look good out there. The VIX is higher, 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 higher. There's uncertainty. We're way overextended in the market. Believe it or not, we're still in overbought territory. Okay, believe it or not. And we have a lot more downside opportunity than upside. So it would be, I think, reckless to be too overexposed on the long side in the markets right now. So in other words, having positions open, having trades, buying stocks, being in your IRA, being in that is a little risky at this moment. Could you sidestep that? by moving money into maybe the money markets until you get a better opportunity to move back into your mutual funds or your different type of security investments such as stocks, ETFs, or, or the like. Just something to think about. Now the markets could shoot up to the moon. I mean, the economy is really hot right now. So if the, if the markets turn, say, okay, hey man, we got that sneeze out of the way, let's keep heading north. You're going to see a lot of volume come in. You're going to see multiple days go up. I want to see a clear new territory, new record levels being broken before I'd feel comfortable wanting to start getting back into the markets. But right now is not a time for me to put my employees to work. Um, so every dollar to me is an employee. My employees need to be working for me, not um, losing me money, <laughs> okay? So I don't wanna put them at risk where they have a pretty good chance of losing me money opposed to making me money. So I'm good on the sidelines at this time. So I hope this is helpful. If so, like it, leave me a comment. And you know, and if you, sharing is caring, so feel free to share the video too. So. Um, if we can help you with your trading so you have a much better 2018 than 2017, you know how to reach us. You know how to reach us. We're here to help you. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you. Bye.